I think coaching has changed a lot. I mean, especially over the last 10 years. Um, you know, when I first kind of came into to racing as a young kid, that's when it seems like technique and, and different strategy was really kind of starting to, to bloom. And, and I think what we see now is it's in full effect. You know, you, you rarely see riders that aren't really at their top notch level as far as technique, race craft, all these different things. And so, um, having a coach is, is the way to, to accelerate that process and so um, like what Hunter and Jed have done with, with Johnny O and and what Chase has done with James and Ken has done with Ryan and then what I can add it just I think it it accelerates the process you know and, and uh, that's really what you want as an athlete you want to perform at your max potential um, but you you want to get there as quick as possible you know you can maybe do it on your own but it's gonna take five or ten years to really gain that where now you see riders coming in and, and they're almost veteran type riders right away. And so um, I, I really think coaching has made a, a big impact on that, you know? And I think uh, as far as the sports growth, you know, seeing coaches, um, I think it's only gonna help things, you know, as far as, you know, being, being able to find a coach, um, whether it's through the USMCA or, or other organizations, you know, that, that you can learn to ride and a lot faster, but a lot safer as well. There's several coaches from my, my past that really, I think, um, made a big impact on me. And, and um, you know, so it's, it's hard to really just name one, but I think one of the guys that really kind of uh, helped me at this level was Tim Ferry. Um, he was just really good about helping me kind of come to my own conclusions. You know, he might have his own idea about something, but he really wanted me to kind of come up with that answer and, and um, you know, he gave me just little bits of information but they were always um, beneficial you know whenever he, he opened his mouth I listened you know and, and, and so that's I think that's what I shoot for you know I, I want to, uh, I don't want to just be someone that's always talking but you know when I do open my mouth I want it to be meaningful and, and impactful I think as a racer you develop a, a certain language a certain feel a certain way of communicating um, in your own way over the years and so um, I think the hardest thing for me is is understanding each rider's own way of doing that and so it's been a, a learning process for me of, of trying to uh, make sense of that you know in the beginning I tried to I think really try to bring my own ideas and language and way of communicating in where, where now I've, I'm just trying to observe and, and try to incorporate everyone's uh, thoughts and ideas and I, I think that's been a, a, a little bit of a revelation for me and, and just understanding that uh, each rider is different and just trying to, to leverage what they need most. I try not to give them too much information. You know, there, there's already so much happening on race day, you know, especially whenever we're not dealing with COVID type races. I mean, you've got autograph signings and debriefs and, you know, three different practices and you know, information coming in from all the kinds of different places. And so, you know, I just try to give them what I really believe is going to help them. And so uh, I think when you approach it that way, they're, they're pretty receptive to it. You know? Um, you know, if you come in and you just try to throw, you know, 10 different things at them, you can kind of see, you know, in the eyes of, of like, you know, I don't, I, I can't even take in that information. So um, I just try to give them as, as little as possible but the, the most uh, beneficial thing that I can provide for them. Yeah, when we review video, there's always, um, I think a couple things that we really look for. One is bike performance. What's it looking like? Um, what's the rider see that maybe he didn't feel? Um, but also, what, what is everyone else doing? You know, we've, we've got a couple different ways of, um, you know, comparing video and, and then capturing um, what everyone else is doing that we can bring to the riders. and and uh, just allow them to see that. You know, if, if a rider's doing a different combination of rhythm section, maybe they're taking a different line on a certain part of the track, you can see that and it's, it's a lot easier to kind of bring that into your own riding whenever you have a kind of a better idea of what that looks visually. So uh, I think what, what the other riders are doing, what you can improve on and, and what the bikes are doing. You know, for me being at the races, um, I just try to bring my experience. You know, a lot of these guys have coaches that they already bring to the table, the Lawrence's, you know, they have Johnny O, who, I mean, man, is like a legend, you know. Uh, Chase has James Stewart. You know, Ken has had, uh, you know, like Ryan Dungey helping him. So 
Um, you know, I'm not going to tell them anything that's going to really change their world, but um, just I think the biggest thing that I can bring is I, just being another set of eyes, and um, I can really relate to them. You know, I, I, I've been here not too long ago in their position, and and I um, I can watch them on the track a lot of times and, and almost know what they're experiencing a little bit, and so. I think for me, just, just trying to help them as much as I can in that way, and then also just trying to help communication between uh, the riders, the technicians, and, and um, you know, just trying to bridge that gap a little bit. So um, I think that's, that's where I try to add the most. You know, I, I think that the riders are so good too, um, and we've got some amazing talent under this tent, so um, you know, there's not even a whole lot that I can add to um, who they already are as, as riders and individuals. So um, if I can just help, you know, 5% here, 5% there, and uh, try to bridge that gap between the technicians and the riders, I mean, I, I think I'll leave, you know, knowing I did a good job.